Well, hello and welcome to this little mini-series, which is part of the, or it's going to be part of the Trongate documentation, where we're going to cover form handling. And I'm just starting up ZAMP here, but I can do that while I give you the introduction. And um, basically we're going to build a very simple little app. It's going to be like a sort of book repository or a library. I guess you could just say a database, a very simple database driven app for registering books, records. Now this particular app of ours is going to have an authors module and a books module. There's going to be an authors database table and a books database table. In this video, I'm just going to get you out of the starting blocks and we'll create a new app, a new Trongate app, and we'll also create the authors module. So let's start then by opening up the Trongate desktop app and we're going to choose create new app. Okay, so it's going to be a new Trongate app and give the app a name. I'm going to just call it books repo or something like that. You call it anything you want, doesn't matter. Anyway, we'll just add in our details and choose a location. And for me, it's going to be inside htdocs. All right, and we're going to generate new app. So that's downloading the faster than I can even say it. It has downloaded the Trongate framework. It has even created a database. And here is our app, right? So let's go back to the desktop app here and we're going to create new module. It's going to be a new Trongate module and I'm going to write in author, okay? Submit. It's going to suggest manage authors as a nav label, that's fine. I'm not going to bother with an icon for this. That is a navigation icon. But let's choose OK and choose some properties for this module. So it's going to be really simple. Let's have just a variable character with first name and another variable character with last name. Okay, nice and easy. And there we go. Now we're not going to have a URL column and we can order by last name ascending and generate. Okay, so there we go. And we have now got an author's module all ready to rock. And by the way, if we looked at the database, we'd have an author's table as well. Now let me open up my text editor and I'm going to have a little look at what we've just made here. So, heading into htdocs, at least that's the case for me. And for me, this one was called Books Repo. Here we go. So here's everything we've got. And if we look inside modules, you'll see that we have a module called Authors. So if I just take you back to the site here, you can see that if I click Create New Author Record, if you look at the URL, it's authors forward slash create. And sure enough, if we have a look inside our authors module, inside the controllers folder, well, you can see that we do indeed have an authors class. And right at the top here, we've got a create method. And as you can see, this is loading up a form. We can have a quick look at the form if it makes you feel good. Here it is. Okay, pretty simple stuff and no big deal. Now, Let's just manually add in some records, okay? So I'm going to go with uh, Charles. Uh, you can see I've had a practice run. Charles Dickens, okay? One of my favourite authors. Okay, now, just to let you know, do you see how when I click on this, it's suggesting things? This is the browser trying to be helpful. If that bothers you, if you don't want that feature, then all you have to do is open up the view file, the create view file, and where well, we've got this array here of attributes that are being passed into the different form fields, we're going to add in an attribute called autocomplete, and we're going to assign it to a value of off, okay? And we can do that for both of these. All right. Now, if we go back to the page and refresh and then click 
you'll see that we no longer have those autocompletes there. Now that's just an optional thing. You might like the autocompletes, but I'm just letting you know that you don't need to have those, okay? All right. Now, let's add a few new records onto this thing, okay? I can see that I've already got Charles Dickens, so let me add in perhaps Jane Austen. Okay. And I'll also add, how about Harper Lee? All right. Now, obviously, you can add anything you want. You don't have to copy me here. Okay, so we have actually created a form here with update facilities, uh, deletes and everything. It's all here. But I don't want you to just be somebody who presses buttons and you don't know what happens. So this is all about showing you how to do this manually. So in the next video, we're going to make a start on a books module and we're not going to do any code generation. There's not going to be any desktop app stuff at all. I hope you'll join me there.